Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I have something really cool that I want to show you. In this video we're talking about the latest release of Opera and that's Opera 1 R2. It has cool new features that I'm eager to present, so without further ado, let's just dive right in. So here we are. Opera 1 R2 is now available for download and is already packed with a ton of cool features. The team at Opera also stated that some of the features will be rolled out in the coming weeks, so grab Opera now if you already want to test the latest stuff. Ok, user interface. It seems that the overall user interface has been polished. It's more modern and sleek, making it visually appealing and easier to navigate. However, if you're used to the old layout, it might take some time to get accustomed to the new design. But let's just shun that away, there's a lot of accessibility with the new interface, making it much easier to navigate your tabs, group them and enhance your workflow with the following. For example, tab islands. They're a cool way to stack your groups of tabs and declutter your browser. And there are a couple of ways to do it. Just press on the control key and then select all the tabs you want and then right click on them and choose create tab island. You can also automatically create a tab island by simply opening a new tab from the previous one. So if I want to check some news and open up an article in a new tab, it will automatically make a tab island. It's super cool and simple to use, so you can group tabs based on their purposes to be more organized. Next, we got the new split screen feature, which lets you join two tabs side by side and have them as a split screen. This is resembling Windows 11 with their snapped windows feature. Again, super simple to use. You can just select two tabs with the control key and then choose the create split screen option and voila, now you have two tabs running at the same time in the same browser. This is also useful to enhance your workflow, so make sure to check it out. Well, now adding up to the features train, we got tab highlights, which is an automatic feature that activates when you have more than eight tabs opened up at the same time. It's a cool magic trick that can help you find anything you need in your recently used tabs. But how does that work? Well, your tabs will have subtle highlights, this line here underneath, and it will have a certain degree of brightness to it. The brighter they are, the more recently you visited them. I'm yet to experience this feature as I did not find it in the settings. Probably will be rolled out soon. Now another cool addition to Opera R2 is the tab emojis. This can act as a cool little label for each page, making it a different way of stating what your favorite tabs are. So now if you hover over a tab, you'll get a list of emojis to select and label the tab. I think it's a cool but unnecessary feature. Anyways, if you enjoy this type of tabbing, make sure to try it out. Moreover, there's also new features in the multimedia section where you can now listen to your favorite stuff and also be able to freely move your music players and video players wherever you want in the browser. Currently, the music player feature is not yet rolled out, but the video pop-out feature seems to be working on and off. On my side, it worked decently and it's super cool. If let's say you are on YouTube and you have to go to another tab, you will be able to make a small window of the video and keep it on your browser wherever you want to. You can resize it or turn it off altogether. We found this useful in many cases, especially when you got a tutorial going on. It's super, super useful. Now moving on to another part of this release, which is a very big part, and that's artificial intelligence with ARIA which is Opera's own AI assistant. From now on, you can actually ask Aria any questions, even explain context and generate images. Now, to activate Aria, all you gotta do is press the control key and forward slash key, and Aria will magically activate on your browser, where you can ask all kinds of questions, challenge Aria with all kinds of tasks, or do calculations, whatever. But the cool part is that if you now press tab, Aria will scan and read the page you are on and you can ask it to summarize your page, explore the topic and more to save up your time and still get the point of what you were reading. I think this is super cool and quite useful in many cases, it surely saves up time. Now in here you can also generate images, 
simply type generate image of whatever and it will do it instantly. Of course, don't expect extremely good quality like Midjourney or other text images AI, but it's nevertheless impressive. You can also get Aria to recognize images by being in the chat with it and adding an image. So load up an image and you can ask all you can about it. You might get some great answers or not. Besides this, you can also choose the local models if you want to use ARIA offline by clicking on Choose Local AI Model and then simply downloading the model on your computer. All in all, ARIA seems to be greatly integrated with Opera and it's very tempting to have it on as it can deal with a lot of stuff that helps the user with his workflow, learning and time. So, in a nutshell, these are the main features of Opera One R2. We found them to be really cool and quite refreshing when it comes to the Opera legacy browsers. I hope Opera R2 shows promise to you, and if it does, make sure to access the link in the description below where you can get it directly for free. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.